You know what, Sarah, you caught my attention uh, during your last weather. You're talking about space weather. Yes, I'm it's all important. In all right, yes. let's talk about a geomagnetic storm watch, which is in effect today and Friday. The space Space Weather Prediction Center, yes, there's such a thing, monitors the sun. And on Tuesday, a coronal mass ejection was observed. This is an example of what one looks like on the sun. Basically, the sun emits a plume of gas. I was making a joke earlier that it, it, it passes gas. It literally does. And it's headed toward the Earth. Now, the sun is 93 million miles away from the Earth. It is not measurable until about a million miles away from Earth. So we know it's strong, but we don't know exactly how strong it's going to be. Hey, remember back in May when we were actually able to see the northern lights in San Antonio? That was from multiple coronal mass ejections that were stronger than the one we're expected to see today or tomorrow. So the aurora is not likely going to be visible in San Antonio, but it will be visible at uh, lower than usual latitudes, but not in San Antonio. And then what about tech impacts? Well, there's a possibility that there could be a slight chance of impacts to advanced GPS and satellite interruptions. But the thing is, is that utilities have been made aware that this is possible and they can make adjustments. So it sounds scary, but it's really just, there's nothing we can do about it. And it's likely not going to have any major impacts, but we'll keep you posted, of course.